Yo, what's good, everyone? It's your boy. Today's video, we got a good one in our hands, baby. YCS champion, Pakawat, is going to come over. And we're going to talk about the new best deck. One of the new best decks coming out in about a month. Flunderies, baby. This deck's going to be insane. And I think all you guys need to actually watch this video right now to understand what absolute greatness is coming and what we all need to prepare for. So if you guys are ready for this video, aren't you guys do yourselves a massive favor and smash the subscribe button. Not just for my channel, but also the reigning YCS champions. Mr. Pac. So go check out his channel down in the description below. I want you guys all to meet, do yourselves a massive favor and smash the subscribe, smash the like button. Because if you smash the like button, then I'll be happy. And that'll be doing yourselves a favor. Because a happy pen god means daily videos every single day for the rest of life. So, if you guys are ready for this video, I also, I also, I also need you guys to go to TripGaming.com and get your beautiful Trip Gaming play mats. Because anyone with the brain would realize that it's not a joke. And it's the best decision ever to get a beautiful Trip Gaming play mat with the best quality ever that you just have to do. Because I said so. And with that being said, it's time to get straight into the video. Let's go. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to today's video. I'm going to be showcasing you Flunders, one of the new decks that's coming out in Burst of Destiny. Um, if you guys haven't already, definitely go check out my Twitch at twitch.tv slash packtcg. I usually cover content like this, um, new decks, and try to, like, maybe teach you a little bit more about how to play this game. Uh, so definitely go check me out. I'm usually on, like, every single day around, like, I guess, 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern uh, around the start time. But um, I'll see you guys there. But anyways, let's get into, like, the meat and potatoes of today's content, which is going to be talking about the flunder deck right so this is like a draft deck list uh for you guys to like potentially um use um i'll talk about some of the the tech choices um like over here but the main deck here is going to be the, the starters which is going to be rabina and eaglin so rabina searches you any level four or lower wing beasts from your deck to hand and you get another normal summon immediately after and when um all the flunders have the effect where if you have a banish if this if the following uh i guess flunder card is banished you can add them back to your hand whenever a normal a wing beast is normal summoned so this is really insane because it makes it so that like post turn one you keep getting pluses and they help you chain block um which is really important in helping you resolve your loop in order to get access to the boss monster of the deck which is flunderese empen uh this card searches you a spell or trap while also giving you another normal summon and it makes this, it also like skill drain all monsters actually it doesn't even skill drain it makes it so that uh, you can't activate effects. Your opponent can't activate effects of special summon monsters in attack position. Which is like really, really crazy. Um, because it basically does a Baguska-esque effect for any special summon monsters in attack mode. Um, so it's like, and if you try to like out this somehow, like by going to battle and attacking over it, um, this card is really big. It's like um, at, at 2700, but it also makes your opponent's monster loses half its attack during damage calculation. So it's like not an easy card to like just randomly beat over. Um, so Rabina searches you um, Eaglin. If you already have Eaglin, you can also search like Barrier Statue if you have the Field Spell because the Field Spell gives you a double summon. Um, but this deck can literally put up the Barrier Statue to play around Nibiru as well. Um, and then you have Stritch and Toucan. So Stritch banishes any card from the Graveyard, which is a disruption that you have access to on your opponent's turn through the Trap card, which lets you normal summon on your opponent's turn. Um, and then you also have Toucan, which adds you like banished Flindery monsters, such as and pin back to your hand. That's how you basically like grind. And um, I'll pro if you guys are interested, I'll probably can show you guys a replay between Triff and I, where I showcase like how grindy this deck can get. Uh, you play Barrier Statue because you don't care about the restriction of the special summon because your deck is just entirely normal summons. Um, you have Ryza, the Mecha Monarch, and Apex Avian because these cards are just utility monsters that can be searched off of like Eaglin. Um, that helps you establish your um, your board. And they're basically like disruption. So like Ryza is like three bounces, two on the field and one in the graveyard on your opponent's turn. Um, so that's really, really strong. Um, and then you have like D Shifter and Imperm is like just tech choices. They really depend on the format. But uh, Shifter is really good because it obviously answers like every deck except the mirror match. Um, Imperm is really nice because you can activate it under Shifter. So that's like fine. Um, and you have like probably I think one of the best cards in the deck, which is the field spell. This is a card that lets you chain block your normal summon and gives you a double summon. And if your opponent normal summons during their turn, it gives you a normal summon on their turn. So like these are just like base this like has three effects and it's really, really strong. Um, it's literally one of the best cards in the deck that allows you to just um, extend through hand traps, chain block through hand traps, um, and also have a disruption on your opponent's turn. 
Uh, then you have like Flunderies and Unknown Wind. This is a really good grind card where it, um, I, when I played against Triff, I actually tributed one of his trap cards. And you're probably wondering like, how do you tribute trap cards? Well, uh, this card lets you tribute summon um, by sending any card you control, any monster you control, and any card your opponent controls to the graveyard. Um, and then it also puts back like uh, Wing Beast monsters back into the deck uh, to draw cards. That effect is really important because in the mid game, the grind game, you're going to have a lot of level 1s in your hand, so being able to put them back to draw is, like, really, really important. And then you have Book of Moon, which allows you to, like, dodge getting hand-trapped on a normal summon um, with Valor Impermanence. And you don't care if your monster is booked because when you tribute summon over them, uh, you know, set monsters can be tributed over, so, like, that doesn't really matter. Call by to, like, you know, stop hand traps. Uh, the Trap card, which is searchable, um, to gives you more normal summons. Duality and Prosperity. So this deck can play both. And they don't conf the pods don't conflict with each other, so if you open both, they're really, really good. Uh, this card, only restriction is that you can't special summon, but the deck, all it does is all normal summons. So this card is just a free consistency card, and then you have Prosperity, which is reveal 6 for free. Because the only restriction is that you can't draw, but like, you don't draw anyways in this deck, except through like this. But like, you never get access to this until like turn 3 or 4, so that's fine. Ghost Arc, because it helps you chain like your normal summon, and then like, Punishment is like a tech card. Uh, you can play anything else you want, but you can go punishment, send like Shurig or something, and then like search like senders or search uh, normal summons for follow up because all of these cards leave the field when they're banished. So they allow you to, um, they actually allow you to get access to them. Uh, uh, like when you send like Shurig, you can like just search like these level ones. Um, you can also send Intense to get double pop. It's like a really good defensive card. Um, you can really play anything else. Other cards to consider for the deck is like Die Fi because you don't care about monsters and going to the grave for some reason. Uh, you can play Macro, you can play Rivalry, a Floodgate, uh, you can play Solemn Strike, which is like a really good defensive card. You can play IO. You can also play Cross Out. You can take out like the three Punishment and then play like one Valor, one Ash, like with the Imperms and stuff. And then, uh, you know, because those are the only cards that really interact with your deck. So just putting them in if you want. Um, that's also another consideration. So I just put them here. Like, really, the deck list is, like, a skeleton for you to, like, uh, you know, try and test out as you, like, start playing a little bit more. Um, but, you know, this is just a draft. And then the extra deck is all draft as well. The Zeus, Nightingale, the, the uh, Thrush, and the Downer. These are all cards that, like, you can make past turn one. Um, the thing with these two is... So the thing is, if you use any of these normal summon effects, you, you're basically locked up special summon for the rest of the turn. Um, or you can't special summon at all during the turn you activate these effects. So usually, like, if these, if any of these, like, stick the next turn, you can, like, overlay into these. Uh, sometimes that comes up, so you just have them in here. Um, you have Intis for Punishment, obviously. Uh, you have Frigid and Insurig for, uh, Punishment, but you can also just make these cards, like, turn three and four. And then you have Wind Pegasus, uh, just to send off of, like, Punishment, but... That's pretty much the deck list, guys. Um, if you guys want to see the combo, this is how it's going to work. So let me do it really quick for you guys. So uh, this is a really busted hand. So you can see that, you know, I didn't, I didn't like, stack my hand. Um, I, like, literally just took it. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys, like, the, the one-card combo. So if you get Robina... You can go normal summon Rabina, which searches you a level four, and then you get a you get a normal summon immediately. You can search Eaglin, um, and then normal summon it right after, and then you can activate Eaglin effect to search any level seven and normal summon immediately after. Like you said, these are all normal summon effects. X. You can tribute M Pen for these two, and then you can go chain link one M Pen, and then chain link two uh, Robina to add it back to your hand. Um. And then M Pen adds you like the trap card. And then this seems like a not, you know, it seems like a pretty average board. But the the cool thing about this is that like, so first of all, you have Eaglin in the banish that gives you follow up. Um, you have Robina. So what do you would do is on your opponent's turn, first of all, they're under a skill drain, or like basically they're under Baguska. Then they also have Flinderies, which gets you like normal summon this. You can then use Robina effect to like normal summon um, search and normal summon a wind barrier statue as well um and then when you summon the barrier statue when you go normal summon robina you can go chain link one robina chain link two eagle in the banish to add it back to your hand um and then you can summon barrier statue so they're under barrier statue and m pen so it's really really hard to beat that um you can also like do another thing where instead of summoning the barrier statue you can summon the eagle from your hand 
So, because you went Chinlink 1, Rabina, Chinlink 2, Egan. Egan goes back to your hand in Chinlink 2. And then Chinlink 1, Rabina resolves, which allows you to normal summon this. And then this effect triggers, which allows you to get a, um, a Ryza. Um, or you can add, um, you can also add another, yeah, you can add a Ryza and then you can use Ryza effect. You can use this Eaglin resolve it to normal summon again. So you can like normal summon tribute over like, let's say one of these, or you can tribute over M pen, which, which, you know, shuffles back three cards they control and then like chain this to like book a moon their entire field as well. Um, so, you know, the options are limitless off one card. Um, and like, as you draw more and more cards, you can play through more, you can set up more. Like there are hands where you can set up, like if you open like Rabina plus field spell, I believe you can set up barrier statue with like the, the full, uh, lock with uh, the, the skill drain and like the extra normal summon, which gives you an extra disruption. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile and a little taste of what this deck looks like. If you guys want to see more gameplay and like learn more about the deck, definitely go check out the Twitch as, uh, as I mentioned already, twitch.tv slash and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.